Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. We've been talking lately about CES and new televisions and new technology. And what was interesting with some new technology is working on the viewing angle with the Z9F of last year and how viewing angle is paramount for some people. And what you're looking at here is a 65-inch plasma, which is a size that a lot of you guys have um, in my living room. Now this plasma was in my basement and this plasma was known at the time for being, it's a Panasonic, for being great for dark room performance and not bright room performance. So what I want to talk about really quickly is reflections. And you'll see that in a lot of reviews and different screens that mitigate and limit reflections from windows and lights. What we don't talk about are even the reflections that can come from your own media room, be it a white wall behind you, um, if the room is too small or the brightness of the of the TV also brightening the room and creating reflections on the back wall so what I wanted to show you was the exact opposite of what you would want in a bright room what you're looking at again is a Panasonic plasma this is an ST60 actually no this is an S60 I'm sorry this is an S60 and if you look at it so quickly looking at the room window here Windows back here, windows back there, door there. So as we scan back around, you can actually see me in the window. Now that's with the actually windows closed. So let's pause it and open them up. So windows are now open. You can see, you can barely see the image. Now this is also a plasma being that it's a darker image. When you talk about OLEDs in bright rooms and why they might not be the best choice or peak brightness being so important, when you have a Z9F, a Quantum P-Series, a Q9FN, a lot of times you'll hear that certain of these displays are excellent for bright room performance. That's what they mean. Now, it's supposedly common sense, but a lot of you guys watch these TVs in your living room, not in a dedicated media room. So for me at the time, this display's weakness was the glass. And ironically enough, this display in the Costco version actually came with the same glass from the ST60, which was the step-up model, which also got rid of reflection or helped with reflection. So that was one point where a BJ's or a Costco brand actually made the reflections better and made the model better. But you can totally see where it takes the image away. Now, as I go further into this movie, this is The Omen, which is an older film. But as I was watching it, I had to just do a quick video on this. And when you look at, the, the like, again, the reviews of these displays, when they say bright room performance, this is what they mean. Where something like a Z9F, which has poor contrast, but it's super bright, might not be great for a dark room. Well, you have to really think about where that display is going to be located. Again, this display was predicated on being in the basement in a dedicated media room, and now it's up here. It's perfect for nighttime, but even if all these windows were closed and there wasn't all these bright areas, if the lights on were in the room, forget about sunlight, you still would have so much reflection. I mean, that's almost like a mirror. So here's a dark scene in the film, one of my favorite films of all time, by the way. And if you go into a seated position, so off to the side, this is where viewing angle would be an issue. In my seating, you know, with couch, couch, you know, off angle, plasmas are amazing. But look at how you see more of the pictures in the background of my home <laughs> than you do on the actual TV. So a quick video. When you are thinking about where the displays are going to go, do take reflections into account. It's very, very important. Um, not just daylight or skylights, but think about what you're going to see in the background. Even downstairs in my media room, the reflection would be on the back wall. So you're watching TV with a little bit of light, and you can actually see the shelves in the back where my movies are, and it looks like dirty screen effect because it looks like banding is actually just the shelves. You know, plasmas off viewing angles are actually perfect, but look at that. That's basically a mirror. So, real quick video. Nothing you guys don't already know, but I figured I would just show you in my own home um, a poor choice in terms of this plasma 
meant to be in the basement is now in the living room. It's fine. I don't watch much TV up here during the day. But if you're up here watching football, that's a little bit brighter content. But I wanted to show you some dark content on a plasma with some sun. Hopefully I won't get hit for copyright for it. But I mean, you can barely see the image. And that this is the this is the room that actually is so displayed on this TV. All right, guys. Thank you as always. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care.